Hi there, I am Dhawan and in this episode, I will be solving the easy question, why can't I bend my little finger independently? Some people can do it, but it's usually without practice you can't do it. So it's like some if a monk asks you, can you bend your little finger independently? And you say, yeah I can. And then you try to bend it. It feels hard, right? Whenever you try to bend your little finger, your ring finger comes along with it. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to tell you the names of all the fingers. This is obviously the thumb finger. This is the index finger, also known as the pointing finger. That's that and that's that. This is the middle finger and this is the ring finger. Okay, ring finger is where you wear the ring. And this is the little finger. So now you know the names of the fingers. So now, I'll tell you why. No, I'll tell you uh, what are ligaments and tendons. Ligaments are the long and stretchy bands that connect our bones. So, if there's a bone here and there's a bone here, it's connected with the ligament. Down, like there's a bone coming all the way here and the bone all the way coming over here with cuts in the middle. Not exactly a cut, two different bones. So, then connect with, with ligaments. And there's cartilage in between these two act as a shock absorber and a lubricator. Rubik's cube. My hand. A sob hand. Got it. Okay, so now, what makes the bones move? Muscles. Now, are the muscles attached to the bones? Of course. And how is it attached to the bones? Using strong bands, fibery bands, known as tendons. Now, these tendons are strong and they connect the muscles to the bones. So ligament is BB, bone to bone, and tendon is MB, muscle to bone. Okay, so now, why can't we, I'm solving the question, why can't we bend our little finger without any help, just independently? Like, I never try to do it, both these come down. So why does it happen? Okay, I'll tell you the answer. The answer is, there is a ligament here and tendon here. And there is a ligament here and a tendon here, a ligament here, tendon here and uh, all the other fingers. So, the tendon connecting this and this is placed over here. So, whenever we move this down, this feels like this has, is com it's compelled to move along. Because it's attached using a tendon. Now, this tendon pulls along the little finger along with the ring finger. So, if you want to move the, the little finger, the ring finger also wants to come with it. But the ring finger, the ring finger has a little bit more muscle. That's more, a little bit more wider too. And so it, we can, like, this whenever, this has more strength. So whenever it wants to come down, the little finger does not feel so much pressure coming down. But the little finger wants to come down, then this is like, it's compelled to come further and further. So, you know why? It's very hard to bend like this. But with practice, you can succeed in putting it independently down and I can't I'm so sad okay now I'm gonna give you another activity put your hands together okay now bend your middle fingers down to make it like that and now connect all the other fingers okay so now you can see it like a spider-man symbol okay so now separate your little fingers Separate your thumb, thumbs, separate your index fingers, separate your, oh, middle fingers are down. Okay, so separate your ring fingers. Oh, I forgot to tell you. You have to ask someone to keep their finger on top of your two middle fingers. It makes a line, you can see it, right? The two middle fingers, they connect and make a line. Now this line, someone has to put a index finger on it, so... It keeps your two middle fingers bent in a straight 180 degree angle. So it should be a straight line, kind of. You can't make exactly, but keep a straight line. Now, you have to separate your ring fingers without moving your middle fingers. However much you try, and I forgot to tell you again, sorry, that you have to keep all the other fingers intact, otherwise you would just do that. So you can't do that. You have to keep this together, rest all together, and bend these two fingers by themselves independently without moving your 
middle fingers. Okay, so if you want, you can bite your middle, uh, ring fingers and pull it off like this. It's not going to work unless you practice. And it's going to hurt, so don't try it so much. This is because, I'll tell you why. This is because, not only is this connected to this using a tendon, this is connected to this using a tendon. Tendons. I wish you were not connected. Okay, so this is connected to this. So whenever you push this down, this feels compelled to move and it feels stuck. You can't move it more further behind. Okay, you, with practice, just remember, with practice, you can do it. And as always, thanks for watching.